Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 78 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I had Terra backtrack over to that switcher in the room where the Red Dragon was, so that Locke can get here, through the same path that Celeste took. Now, remember that weight I said to ignore? Well, we might as well just press it now. And here's what happens if you do. Create a little stone formation there that's that's on Celeste's side. But we're going to deal with that later because this pretty much details how that Terra can get over here where Celeste and Locke are to. But we'll deal with that later. First, let's head back to that room where the Seal of Darkness was nullified. We can now go this way. And where we're to is called the Holy Palace. Obviously, this is where the Holy Dragon is located. So let's go this way first. And deal with a new enemy! A Maximera! Very interesting enemy, and it tends to counter a lot of your attacks with... Red Gaze, I believe that's what it is? In other words, it can do a lot of heavy damage. So be very cautious. Well, it counters most of your attacks, not every single one of them. Thankfully, at that. Otherwise, you would have a very difficult time fighting this boss. Uh, this enemy, actually. Oh, there's Stone Gaze. But thanks to the ribbon, it was nullified. Okay, I might as well show the other enemies that I fought but did not show you due to going around areas off footage. I'll do that after this fight. Damn, it's got a lot of HP. I am quite impressed. How did an enemy like that get so much M HP? And it's not even a boss. It's got more health than most bosses, actually. Attacking so frequently, it's crazy. Hopefully this will be enough. Yeah, that'll be enough. Ah, oh, still alive. And Strago got petrified. Ah, Realm gained a level. Nice enough. Okay, let's set him free. Asuna. Okay, here are the other enemies that I fought, but did not show you. Hard to believe I only got 95% of the bestiary cleared. Well, there was Abaddon that ain't so bad. It dropped a Lich Ring, and you can cast, like, Rays on it to kill it. Dragon Avis is weak against fire and a more formidable opponent, but you can cast Banish to take it out. Dino Zombie we already seen. Maximera Magic Dragon, I did not show you yet. You can steal x ethers if you're lucky enough. You'd have to be a very high-level thief for that to happen. And if not, you can always have Strago use Discord if that'll help you. And that's pretty much it. There's still some enemies that I missed, apparently. But we'll deal with that later. Anyways, let's just go straight forward. See what we can deal with. A Magus Robe. You buy these in freaking Thamasa! It's not even that special. Oh, here's a new enemy! Shield Dragons. These guys suck. In fact, I heavily advise casting Silence on them, because they tend to have an ability which will turn you into a zombie. And those are never a good thing. Ever. There, when you silence them, you take out their best move. They also have a lot of HP, too. That's another thing we have to worry about. So in other words, cast your best spells. Let's see if Grand Delta will kill at least one. I well, could use some more magic, so I'll use an Osmos. They still hit pretty hard, though. Thankfully, we're all in the back row, except for Locke.
Let's try another Grand Delta. God, that one is still alive! We've been hitting it so many times, it just won't die. Let me try another Ultima. This definitely has to be enough. Wow, that's crazy. They're so strong, man! They just won't give up, man! I mean, they're still not as bad as the Brachiosaurs, but still very durable. Now those are bad enemies to fight the Brachiosaurs. Luckily, you can control them with Realm and have an easy fight. I don't know if you can control these guys, though. You have to be pretty powerful for that to happen. And these aren't even bosses, yet they're tougher than many bosses, like I said before. That is why you have to be at a very decent level to survive the Dragon's Den. Not just the bosses, but the enemies themselves. That should tell you what you're dealing with. Soul extraction, thankfully that didn't work, so it looks like silence wore off. Yeah, that's the ability that turns you into a zombie, soul extraction. There we go! Finally defeated! At least got locking to level. And a whole lot of funds. Uh, where is that holy dragon? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Looks like it's not in this room. I should try this one. Oh, that fight with a Maximera was quite a pain in the ass, don't you think? Thank god I spared you the pain. Right, is, is Holy Dragon in this room? It better be. Yep, it is. I better get prepared. See, not a Genji shield. Do I have the Paladin shield, or is that equipped on another team? Yep, I'm gonna have to like take a Paladin shield. It's very important you have a Paladin shield. Trust me on this one. I'll remove that. And I'll also take Setzer's Master Scroll too. I'm gonna need that as well to do a lot of damage. Okay, so let's put that stuff on lock. He's gonna be very important. In fact, Strago will play a, play a very nice role, too. A very, very nice role. Let's see, is this gonna be enough? I should put the Master Scroll on instead of the Thief's Bracer. Because I won't be stealing from that guy, the Holy Dragon. And let's see, what can I do for Strago? I think it'd be a good idea to keep the setup that I got. And as for Realm, instead of a white cape, how about I give you the Soul of the Massa? I like to have someone cast two sets of spells at once. He thinks that'll be very convenient. Shadow, I'm probably gonna put prayer beads on you. To make sure you dodge physical attacks coming from Holy Dragon. Let's change the espers. I want golem here. Uh, Fenrir over here. Zona Seeker is good, and S Gilgamesh, that's, that's that's somewhat of a gimme. Is there anything else I can do? I think I should just go to Celeste's team and just use the save point. You know, just use that as a safeguard in case I fail. Then I don't have to do all that progress again. Okay, I'll just camp you over here, and then just have Locke use the save. There, I want to be very prepared for this boss, because like the Earth Dragon, and in some points the Red Dragon, this guy gave me a lot of trouble in the past. In fact, I would highly recommend Magic Defense. And Force Armor is not going to cut it. Force Shields, however, will. One on Strago. One on Realm. And that's good enough for Shadow. Okay. Did I save? I don't want to do that. 
All right, let's fight and pray. Lots and lots of prayer. Holy Dragon is not easy by any means whatsoever. It loves to cast Holy, Saintly Beam, not to mention Heartless Angel, which will flat out kill you. Well, Heartless Angel will reduce you to one HP, but you might get a Saintly Beam immediately after that. That's what I hate about this guy. Oh, I won't be able to use Zona Seeker because of the soul of the Massa. Oh, looks like I just shot myself in the foot. That's okay, I'll just start things off with a random spell, like say, Cure. And then I'll use Quick. The thing about Holy Dragon is that it often counters your attacks with Heartless Angel or even Kiraga on himself, which heals over 6,000 HP. That's what makes this guy a pain in the ass. Since he likes to counter a lot, what I recommend, if you use Quick, use Ultima twice. And then on their next round of spells, don't use any offensive magic at all. In fact, use defensive magic the whole time for your second phase. Remember, first phase for attacks, second phase for defense. Remember, he will counter the second go of spells, but not the first. Because remember, time is still frozen. Okay, so for Realm, this would be a good chance to, like, get Shell on everyone. And I mean everyone. Strago, you use Force Field and hope we can nullify Holy. If we can do that, that takes away most of his offense. Well, pretty much all of his offense, except for physical attacks and Kiraga. So we should be good to go then. Uh, Lock, don't attack yet, use Valor. Actually, I should have had Shadow use that. So in other words, I won't be using a lot of offense unless it's deemed necessary. Sadly, Locke is the only one that can take care of Holy. Like, Holy Elemental Spells, that is. Yes, we're seeing multiple Saintly Beams at once. That's why I got Shell on everyone. Realm and Locke are going to be doing the most damage for me. Let's see, another Kiraga. Probably a Quick. Come on, nullify holy, nullify holy. Please do it, please do it, please do it. Remember, it's a game of luck. Oh yeah, here we go! That takes away all of Holy Dragon's offense, well, except for Heartless Angel and physicals. Apparently, Heartless Angel is non-elemental, unfortunately. We still gotta deal with physicals, remember. But that's far better than multi-targeting holy spells. Saintly Beam. Much better. Strago got really lucky there. Now, unfortunately, we still have to deal with his Kiragas, but you can always use Reflect on Holy Dragon so that he will be healing you instead of himself. That's entirely your call. But Realm already committed to Quick, therefore we won't need to be using too much offense anymore. In fact, we just made it a lot easier on ourselves. Ooh, we need an Osmos badly. And a Flare. Remember, I cannot cast Holy either, not that we need it. Shadow, you cast Reflect on Holy Dragon. Sure, we won't be using too many spells, but then again, Ultima cannot be reflected to begin with. Therefore, our offense ain't as completely nullified. So there, give it everything you got. You practically got this one. Eh, two more Ultimas for the road. Strago, you got really lucky nullifying Force... using Force Field to nullify Holy. Remember, you have a 1 in 8 chance of doing so, and then 1 in 7 after that, and so on, and so on. We just got it 1 right there. 
Pretty much. Ah, still alive. It's still hanging on for dear life, I will give it credit. Now we eat a whole heartless angel. But again, I am not worried. Saintly Beam! What the hell? I nullified holy attacks! Oh, wait, wait, it can still use it, but it won't do any damage. Well, I was getting a little worried there. Whew, sorry, guys. Oh, thank God that's out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna get fully healed before Locke attacks. Oh, man, I got really nervous. I thought the spells just would not be used at all. Turns out they'll still be used, but do nothing. I don't even know why I'm spamming Kiraga so much. I guess I got, just got so paranoid. Oh, oh man. Nearly had a panic attack, thinking I lost. Now we can just let nature take its course. Locke is gonna getting some good attacks in, Shadow's got a Fuma Shuriken, and still Valorant, by the way. So expect a lot of damage. And he won't be able to heal himself either. Ow. Eh, not too bad. Could've been worse. And you still can't heal yourself. You are screwed. I still hate those heartless angels, though. They get very annoying. Okay, Strago, this better be the finishing blow. This is why I had you. Well, one of the reasons, anyway. There! Still reduced to 1 HP, but it didn't matter. Of course, Golem and friend Fenrir would have helped with those stray physicals, too, but it looks like we didn't need them. There, we get the Zan Mato, which is a nice weapon for Cyan. The Holy Dragon has been slain, and only one more to go, and that's the Gold Dragon. Luckily, I know where it's too. Okay, I believe that path actually takes you to one of the final rooms of the dungeon. Remember, there are three, and it's basically the same as Kefka's place. Like, there's three rooms, each with a switch. You step on all three, you get to the final area. The seal of Heaven is broken. Okay, luckily, we don't really need to, like, go back all the way to the Dragon Temple through here. I'm going to stop the video right here, in the next part I'm going to teleport out so we can start the place over, but luckily it will be necessary, and then we're going to take on the gold dragon. See ya everybody.